Hey guys, welcome back. Amanda here, and I am on the second book of a review in the Bible journaling series. This one is called Celebrating God's Promise and Promises, and I will give you a walkthrough of this book. These books, you can find them on Amazon, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and some of the books are available at Michael's. So, this one retails on Amazon for $10.13. The listed price for it is $12.95. So, um, you're getting a, quite a bit of a deal um, there on Amazon. So, this book is... This is the second one in the series that I'll be reviewing, and it talks about renewing faith with art. That's what the whole series is about, and just jumping in the Word, being creative, and the whole purpose behind Bible journaling. Our author is Miss Krista Hamrick. She is on Instagram, has a Facebook page, and I will have all of the links for her in the description box where you can find her. And in this book, you're going to find hundreds of stickers, traceable cutouts, and we're going to jump right into those and talk about those in just a second here. In the front of the book, you'll find the elements of art, getting started, and in this book, you'll find full pages of Krista's journaling, personal uh, journaling Bible, um, a message from her, vellums, stickers, and wonderful goodies to go along with it. So, and what I loved about Krista and what she talked about as well is just being able to, you know, the promise of Bible journaling, being in the Word, and then how she discovered it as well about browsing on Pinterest. And then she just started journaling and doing that in her Bible as, as well. And she talked about, too, about how she likes to draw words and how she sketches them with a pencil and then just kind of experiments with them after that. So I, I, I know that you'll see a lot of her words um, that she likes to draw in this book. So I hope um, you'll give her a follow and just um, enjoy some of her work that's here, too. And I, one thing I really, really like about her, hers, in particularly that I noticed in this book is how her words obviously stand out, but also how she likes to color the background right behind the words and how it's very soft, but still it jumps off the page for you. Um, and it's, you know, all very, very beautiful. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. I just think that that is just very, very pretty. I'll just show you what we have as far as what is included. These pages, once again, you can cut these out or just trace them and add them into your notebook or your Bible. This is one of my favorites. I like the symbolism here of all of these waves and the boat there and then be still. That's one of my favorite psalms. And here we have some more traceables or just color these and put these in your Bible or notebook. Words, that was one of the things that she talked about in her introduction is that she likes to draw words. So when you can see that coming out here um, with her expression and what she's talking about. And I love these that you can actually just put that in the margin of your Bible and journal there. And I like this one particular too of how um, it represents God holding us and then us holding the world. How long, O Lord? But I have trusted in my, thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dwelt, dealt bountifully with me. I just think that's beautiful. And this would be, I really like this one because I think this would look really good with a um, journaling. If you were to journal anything about Noah's Ark. I think that's really cool. She has an alphabet. And then we'll get to the vellum, my favorite part. And I just, 
I just think her, I mean, I, I feel like I'm saying that about all of the artists here, but I'm just really, really um, drawn to um, these artists' work and how beautiful it is. So, and the representation of how God's holding, holding the world and the cross, actually it's Jesus, but, um, and, and carrying that cross. So that definitely means a lot. And then this one um, is one of my favorites right here. I've called you by name and you are mine. That one just kind of, it's just like a father dancing with her daughter, with his daughter, and then the daughter looking up to him. So, and then what that represents with the relationship that we have with Christ is just kind of blows my mind. So this one in particularly is one of my favorites and stay tuned because we will be journaling with some of these as well. And there are some more here. The boat, that would be good with the be still verse and the waves. And then these little phrases here. Just cut them out and put them in your Bible or your notebook. God wins. Let us go into the house of the Lord. And then you get some stickers. My light's shining on there. Just seem a little bit better. Some stickers. Then you have some tabs. I really like this sticker, and particularly the heart of fire and the smoke. And some washi tape as well. So you can see the difference in just the authors, the two authors that I've done already, just the differences between the two. Um, if you like more of a flowy word style art, I think that this book would be good for you um, to start off with. So like I said, this one is called Celebrating God's Promises. And you can find this one. I do believe I have seen this one at Michael's. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the one that I have seen at Michael's along with honoring the spirit. So, but stay tuned for future videos. I will be doing some um, journaling, um, some time ups videos of some journaling with um, what I've used out of these books. So, and stay tuned for another review. And we just want to thank the publishers again uh, for sending us this book these books so we could do a giveaway. Thank you guys and be blessed.